Today we're going to talk about power focal lenses. In the camera world, most lenses are not power focal. It basically means that when you zoom the lens, the focal point will stay the same. It's good for video work because you can zoom in on a subject and you don't have to refocus. The problem is, is that with power focal lenses, they're difficult to design in comparison to the varied focal lenses where if you switch the magnification, which is your zoom, the focal point will change. I'm going to do a little test with the few zoom lenses that I have and show you if these lenses are power focal or varied focal. Here is the 10 to 17 millimeter lens. I have all of the apertures fixed to f4.5 in this case. I used 17 millimeter to hand focus on the Pentax text in the photo, you can see. Then we go down the line, all I did was change the zoom, so we've got 14 millimeter and 10 millimeter. Pretty difficult to see any changes in this case because it's such a wide angle lens. And the depth of field should be very large even though it was pretty close uh, close focus. You can see a slight difference though in the where it says SMC Pentax FA. The 17 millimeter is pretty blurry but then you go down to the 10 millimeter it's pretty sharp. Now that could be due to the depth of field differences because I was using the same aperture. Second test with that same lens. However, this time I changed the aperture to use the maximum possible for that focal length. 17 millimeter is f4.5, 14 f4, and 10 millimeter is f3.5. Here you can also see the same case with that SMC Pentax FA text right on the lens barrel of the subject. In, the, in this case, 10, 10 millimeter is sharper. So it does fit the same uh, thing as the other test with the fixed aperture. Now I wouldn't say necessarily it's a focus shift, it could be the depth of field differences. It's worth looking into though. Here is the 18 to 55 millimeter lens, same test, however with, the, with this lens it's a little bit easier to see differences because you can zoom in. I've got the 55mm at f5.6, that's where I focused, but then when you go to 35 you can see the Pentax text is not as sharp, however the SMC pen text in front of it is sharper. Now that could also be due to depth of field, but that would indicate being false because the Pentax text is not as sharp. Then we go to 18 millimeter. Now this is a large crop because once you get to 18, you have such a wide field of view. Now, looks pretty similar to the 35, but it's not as sharp. Like I said, that's probably due to the crop. The text in front of the Pentax logo looks about the same as the 35mm. Again, however this time I changed the aperture to use the widest possible. You can look at the Pentax text up close. There is a slight difference. 35mm again is front focused compared to the 55mm test. And the 18 it's pretty difficult to really tell because of the crop. However, Pentax text does look quite a bit blurrier. But the text in front of it looks reasonably sharp. Last test with the 50 to 200 millimeter lens. This is nice close. You can really see the difference here. You've got the 200 millimeter at f5.6. Pentax text is nice and sharp. Then you go down to 150 millimeter 
at 5.6. You can see some differences there with the focus. Looks front focused again. And the Pentax text is slightly blurrier. Then we've got the 50 millimeter test. It looks pretty, it looks about in between the two other ones. However, it is still more front focused than the first one with the 200 millimeter. Here's the last test. This, in this case, I used different apertures. It's pretty difficult to tell here. They look very similar. However, again, the 115 millimeter is slightly front focused. I think the 50 is probably as well compared to the 200 millimeter test. So that was it for this test. It's pretty difficult to judge whether these are parfocal or not. However, disregarding depth of field differences, which potentially aren't that large, I'd have to do some calculations to figure that out. Because I was pretty close to the subject. It should be very thin depth of field in most of these cases. So I'm guessing that these lenses are not power focal. However, in most cases, you can probably get by using that method where you hand focus at the maximum focal length and then zoom out. It should be just close enough that it isn't really a big problem in most cases. Hope you found this test interesting. Thanks.